is, isn't it, uh, 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 wouldn't it be a better idea to have those low-risk individuals um, uh, uh, who are now being isolated, um, even if they are infected, uh, isn't it a better idea to allow them to go out and at least start to develop the herd immunity that we need? Uh, because they're only going to develop the disease in a very, very mild way. And isn't the herd immunity essential to ultimately getting rid of this virus until, at the very least, we get a vaccine? Well, the most important way to get rid of this virus is to get a vaccine, as you described. Um, when you, we've always used the term herd immunity when it comes to vaccination. No one would use that term in general in discussing a pandemic and letting a pandemic run out with this level of mortality that we see with comorbidities. We have to remember that in America, we have a lot of people, even young people with diabetes and asthma and hypertension. And so protecting them really becomes very critical because they can have a very difficult course. And so if we knew everybody who would do well off uh, right immediately that you could really have that discussion but we don't know who has pre-existing conditions when we see them on the street and that's why the president's made it very clear that in opening up america again there are clear gating criteria and there are really clear phases that every single state needs to consider and in the bottom line of all of this is every individual still taking responsibility of washing their hands not touching their face